All right, everybody, we begin this segment with a quote from Gandhi, mm. who once said, when you make yourself into zero, your power becomes invincible. Uh, Gandhi did not eat beef jerky, or anything for that matter, for a while there. But he was right about zero. Exciting news yesterday. You can wear zero in the NFL this season. I'm talking about the number zero. Everyone was a flutter. Everyone couldn't believe it. Mm. And so I wanted to ask the question, why are we so fascinated by it? And where did it come from? It has a deep history we're going to get into right now, guys. The number zero in the NFL is worn is back way back in the 1920s. It goes mm. back 100 years we cannot confirm the first player to ever wear it. It's shrouded in mystery. But I want to show you the first well-known player to wear zero in the 1920s was a man named Wilbur Henry. Here he is, Wilbur Real Henry. Fair. There he is standing in a field, not on a field, in a field. <laughs> he weighed 250 pounds. He was the largest player in the league at 250, so his nickname was Fats. I want to remind everybody that uh, Anthony Richardson is about 245, and he is almost as big as Fats Henry was back <laughs> in the 20s. But he wore a number, a number zero. He went on to wear that. Over a dozen people wore in the jersey number zero during a regular season game over years and years. So the way it goes is through the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, this was standard. Guys would wear single zero, and then we got into the double zeros. Eventually, the NFL got into a numbering system where it was position-specific, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, 1967. New Orleans Saint, Obert Logan, was the last player to wear single zero. There he is. How strange does that look? That is the expansion Saints. Their expansive year, expansion year, Obert Logan played defensive back 1967, and he's the last player to ever wear the single zero. When someone does it, and I, I saw that Calvin Ridley already claimed it for this fall, he will bridge the gap from this footage in 1967 to 2023 for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's the last guy. And Obert Logan's nickname was the Little O, and that's why he <laughs> wore O. We're going to see a lot of players playing around with that. By the late 60s, early 70s, um, Double O was also being used. And then this time, April 5th, 1973, so almost exactly 50 years ago, we came out with a numbering system as the one that most of us grew up with. Low numbers, the specialists and quarterbacks, linemen in the 60s and 70s, and that stood for years and years and years and years and years and years. But when they came out with this, they said, no more single zero and no more double zero. There's no official explanation why other than just, we're tightening things up. What's fun now is that guys can be grandfathered in. If you wore double zero at this point before this, you could rock it out on the field. So then we got legends. Only two players wore it in 1974. Jim Otto retired from the NFL. Jim Otto was double O, and his name was Otto, so he became double O Jim Otto, and it was just perfect. You're seeing a lot of wordplay with the number and the names, and I'm sure this fall somewhere, Odell will wear O, and we'll all lose our minds, but it'll be perfect. So Jim Otto is a legend. He played in the Heidi game, the Holy Roller. There he is snapping the ball. He did it. So who's the last player to ever wear a zero? and catch a touchdown pass to make a big play on offense. Guys, that's Ken Burrow of the Houston Oilers. You're going to see a wide receiver. Get ready, because you're going to see it this year. There's Kenny Stabler yes. throwing left-handed to a wide receiver wearing double zero in an Oilers uniform, and the, the optics are just insane. Just insane. Pretty Excellent. cool, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Cool. That was uh, 1981. It was the last player to wear double zero in a game. So it all changed just a couple of years ago. So this stood zero and double zero, unless you were grandfather and was gone, for, for 40, 50 years. Then as we remember a couple years ago, NFL owners approved the rule change provided or presented by the Kansas City Chiefs and said, let's mess this thing up. Let's get nuts. These college kids like the single digit numbers, the old Reggie Bush thing where he wasn't allowed. So then we became the reality we've been living for the last few seasons where a defensive end could wear seven, a wide receiver could wear one, on and on and on. Um, the proposal did not include the single zero jersey. Mm -hmm. They did not want it. So that brings us to now this year. March 13, 2023, you saw Tom Pelissor break the news a few weeks back. The Eagles are champions of single zero and said, you know, we have a lot of retired numbers around the league. It's getting hard, the 53 man plus the practice. We're just kind of running out of numbers. Let's do the single zero. They did not propose double zero, only single. It gets voted in, it's happening, which means this season you will see potentially your favorite player or your favorite rookie go single zero out on the field. Um, just in look around other sports, it's very popular in the NBA. And it has been since uh, Orlando Woolridge, and we obviously know Russell Westbrook. Out there you have Dame Lillard, of course, uh, Jason Tatum, Jordan Clarkson. They have single and double zero in the NBA. 
MLB players can also wear zero. It's not very popular there. The NHL has not allowed it. These are old school pictures. Mm. NHL has not allowed it since the mid 90s for a strange, mysterious reason that it confuses their digital database. I don't know if that's like one of these Y2K things where mm. the, the zero zero <laughs> messes up their filing. Um, also, in bringing to the point here, and I'll bring it home. NCAA started allowing single zero in the 2020 season. So you've got notable players in the league right now who wore it in college. You got Rashad Bateman on the Ravens, Devin Lloyd on the Jags, and Jalen Watson on the Chiefs. All wore it in college. And last of all, bringing it to the headlines, bringing it to the month of April, big time draft prospects who wore it just last season. Christian Gonzalez, the Oregon corner, is going to be a huge high draft pick, very likely to wear it next year. And then Darnell Washington, the Georgia tight end, was out there wearing zero. Mm -hmm. So now that it's open season on zero and the optics change, mm -hmm. do players start flocking to it? Do players start changing? Let's bring up one Dallas Cowboys superstar who didn't even hesitate yesterday and said, I'm switching. Asian zero coming soon. So Mike is going to buy out the 11s, switch to zero. And I've seen some people say it's ugly, it's dumb, I don't like it. I like all the potential of zero people believed in me. Maybe yeah. zero people can beat me. Mm -hmm. Zero people can block me. Yeah. It is back. It is here to stay. Gandhi was right. Making yourself zero makes yourself powerful. That's the take. Brockers, do you like zero? Um, I think I like zero. I think I like it on the more skilled players. On the skilled players, it's cool. On the big guys, not at all. You wouldn't have wore. Any... You wouldn't have wore zero on yeah. the D line. No, 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 no. And no, for no, the I... record, the new policy: O line and D line not allowed to wear zero. You uh, cannot. That's great. Quentin Nelson can change his number to zero next year. You, you feel like the fast guys? I feel like the fast guys should have it. It's mm -hmm. you know people are gonna get mad because Micah plays on the uh, on the line so much, and they're gonna be like, "How does he get it?" Uh, yeah. So you're gonna have some. You have some people with some flag, but I think the skilled players wearing it. I think it's cool. I don't like any single digit number on, on big guys. I hear that. Old school. Yeah. I love it. I, I'm just here for when double zero comes back. Yeah, the single zero <laughs> is fine. It's all great. Guys will switch to it. But whenever double zero comes back, that's a, a number for alignment, offensive and defensive. Let them rock to double zero. Although now that I know the history to the double zero, like Mr. Otto himself, like that to me now is the only name that plays with double zero because of the application of the OTTO <laughs> and down. So you can only, you zero. have to apply and yeah. have I also like reason. zero in on me, or at least try to, but you can't, so I am zero. Like, I like it. I like Next place it. we go, we got to double zero, and then we're going to have to go to like 100. We're going to have yes. to go negative Let's one. Go. I don't know where we're Let's go. Let's go. Negative one. Negative two. <laughs> this was the antithesis of a what's your beef. You are welcoming, you are welcoming the zero. Yeah, so yes. anyone who Thank has beef with zero, that was your segment. Thank you to the Eagles. Uh, let's